أن الكلب جاء إلى الأسد. That a dog came to a lion. فقال يا ملك السباع يعني هو أي الأسد هو ملك الغابة أو رئيس الغابة. So then the dog said to the lion, Oh king of the predators, because as you know the lion is the king of the jungle, the king of the predators. فقال يا ملك السباع. So the dog said to the lion, Oh king of the predators. إن نسمي هذا خصيص. أي اسم الكلب اسم خصيص وحقير يعني لا يصلح لي أريد أن تغير اسمي. So he came to the lion and he said to the lion, look, my name, I a dog. This name is something which is lowly. This name is something which is humiliating. So I want you to change my name from dog to something else. فلا بد أن تغير اسمي من كلب إلى أي شيء آخر. So you have to change my name from a dog to something else, another name. فأبى الأسد على الكلب. So the lion he refused to do so. قال لا. He said no. إن من طبعك الخسة. Because from your nature, as being a dog, is being a dog. والخسيس لا يصلح له إلا كلب. And the one who is lowly and belittled and humiliated, he is not deserving except being called a dog. فاعترم الكلب مرة أخرى. So then the dog he objected another time. وقال لا تغير اسمي. He said no. You have to change my name. وألحه على الأسد. And he repeatedly requested from the lion that he changes his name. فعندما رأى الأسد الحاق من الكلب. So when the lion saw the dog repeatedly, constantly asking again and again, خذ هذا القطعة من اللحم. The lion said to the dog, "That here, take this piece, take this piece of meat, وحفظها لي إلى الصباح, and go guard it for me, preserve it for me until the morning time." إن جئت بهذا القطعة من اللحم في الصباح غيرت اسمك وإلا فأنت كلب. If you come in the morning and you have this piece of meat and it's saved and preserved with you, then I will change your name. But if you come in the morning and this meat isn't there, then you are a dog. أخذ الكلب قطعة من اللحم وفرح وقال إن هذا الاختبار اختبار سهل جدا. So the dog he took this piece of meat and he became very happy. He said, "This is an easy test. I can easily do this." ثم رجع إلى المكان الذي يأوي إليه ونبيت فيه. So then the dog with the piece of meat returned back to. The place where he seeks refuge and where he stays. And he placed the piece of meat. And then he started thinking, he began thinking and pondering all throughout the night. Kelp. Dog. Asad. Lion. Aqul. Eat. La aqul. Don't eat. Jur. Hunger. Barak. Cold. Khawf. Fear. Aqul. La aqul. Eat. Aqul. La aqul. Eat. Shall not eat. حتى قرب الفجر. Up until the dawn came. وهو متردد هل يأكل أو لا؟ And he's still thinking should I eat or should I not eat. هل يبقى كلب أو يغير؟ Is he going to change my name to dog from dog or is I'm going to always be a dog? فعندما قرب الفجر. So when the dawn came. وشد الجوع. When the sunrise came and he became very very hungry. قال الكلب يعني لنفسه. The dog said to himself. إن اسم الكلب اسم حسن. The name of the dog is a nice name. وأكل الله. And he ate the meat. الشاهد من هذه القصة. The point behind this story أن الذي يصبر عن المحرمات that the person who is patient over those things which are haram فهذا رضي بالعزة. That this person has is pleased with being honourable. ورضي أن يكون أسد. And the person who is patient over those things which are impermissible then this person is happy being a lion. والذي لا يصبر عن المحرمات and the one who isn't patient upon Staying away from disobedience. Allah salam alaikum. And we ask Allah for safety and pardoning. هذا أضعف الخسة. And this this person has become happy and pleased with being humiliated. ولا صرح له ولا كلب. And it's not befitting for him except that he is a dog. What do you have in your hand? And you can test yourself. When you leave the masjid, 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 when you leave the mas أو أسد. Are you a dog or you a lion? وكفى بنفسك اليوم عليك حسيب. And you yourself will be sufficient as an evidence of yourself. You yourself are your record. كيف تعص الله بنعم الله? How are you going to disobey Allah in His blessings? فماذا نصنع يعني في هذه الفتنة? So therefore, what should we do in these types of tests and trials? هذا أمر عام يعني عام على الدرس. This is something which is outside of the lesson. كيف تكون العصمة من الفتن. 
how should a person just to diverge, how should a person protect himself from these type of trials and tests? And I want firstly and it's Jack in Allah by seeking refuge and going back to Allah. And then you show your need in front of Allah by supplicating. Then you supplicate to Allah. Just like Yusuf supplicated when he was tested with the, tested with the women. And he said to Allah, Oh Allah, if you don't protect me from their plots, then I will fall into this uh, part of the meaning which was Allah makhthini bi halalika an haramik wa ghnidhi bi fadlika amman siwa Then you say to Allah, Oh Allah, suffice me with that which is halal or with that which is haram Allah makhthini bi halalika an haramik wa ghnidhi bi fadlika amman siwa And make me rich with your virtue without me having to turn to anybody else through your kindness As-suhba, as-salih And also having Good, righteous friends, righteous, righteous companions. And the Sahaba Because having righteous friends, they will help you leave alone those things which are forbidden. And leaving alone bad friends or bad company. And that you always remember the promise of the meeting of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, such that it causes you to love your gaze. Fitter. And that a person shouldn't go to those places where there are these types of attractions or calamities. And also visiting the, visiting the graves but according to the correct Islamic guideline. Why? Because as the Prophet said, visiting the graves it reminds you of the hereafter. A person should read the a person can read the story of Yusuf السلام, the Prophet. That a person shouldn't look, listen to, or even speak about these type of issues. Are you women, for example, talking about women? Because some of the Salaf, they used to say that keep away from our sittings the desires which relate to a person's private parts and also the desires that relate to a person's speaking. So it's not possible for a person to speak about these things, about women and these type of things. And also these avenues or these channels that contain these type of desires and these forbidden matters like the internet and the channels a person should never enter into them except due to a necessity that a person if you're going to enter into the internet out of necessity then you only do so in a room where there's other people there. Then you don't do it on your own. Do it when there's people there. There's every people can see the screen and what's on the screen. A person should remain alone in his house. And a person shouldn't sleep except that he's in need of sleep. He's tired. Fasting. And only eating a little amount of food and drinking a little amount. Meaning, a person shouldn't eat a lot and drink a lot. And there are other matters which help in this, but another time we'll be covered. And therefore, like we mentioned, a ni'mah, a blessing, it is ibtila. It is a form of a test or a trial. And a person has to be attached to Allah before the blessing and show gratefulness to Allah after the blessing. Athani. And, and this is done upon the heart and the tongue and the name. So the second matter. <laughs> so we may, we're talking about the keys or the reasons or the causes of happiness. The second matter, the second key is. <laughs> The first is that if the slave is blessed with something, he shows shukr. Yeah, that, and the that when a person is given a blessing, 
He shows courtesy and graciousness to Allah. وَبَدْ هَذَا أَنَّ عَنْدَ النِّعْمَةِ كَابِ مِنْ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ يَغْفُرُ النِّعْمَةِ And the opposite to this is that when a person is given a blessing that he rejects and disbelieves. الثاني The second key إِذَا اُقْتُلِيَ الصَّبَرِ That when a person is tested with a calamity and affliction that he is patient. قدر الله سبحانه وتعالى عليه بمرض أو فقر أو حادث أو فقد مال أو فقد ولد مثلاً. So for example, Allah decrees upon a person loss of a child, loss of some property, loss of wealth, some type of poverty, some type of illness. فماذا يصنع عند الابتلاء؟ So what should a person do when he is afflicted with a calamity? يصبر. A person has to be patient. والصبر واجب بإجماع الأمة. And patience is a obligatory according to the agreement of the whole of the Ummah. والصبر مثل اسمه مر مذاقته لكن عواقبه أحلى من العسل. والصبر مثل اسمه يعني الصبر من الصبر. الصبر شيء مر. قال والصبر مثل اسمه مر مذاقته يعني المصيبة صعبة عليه مرة. ما الذي يمنع من التسخر؟ الإيمان بالله. نوع يعني من الأعشاب كذا يعني مر جدا. So one of the poets said that الصبر هيشل الصبر is like my name and this is that because in Arabic the word الصبر which is like الصبر it relates to some type of a plant which is very very bitter when you eat it. So the poet said. That a sabr is like my name, meaning like this bitter type of uh, pan that you eat. Its taste is very, very bitter. But that which it leads to is even sweeter than honey. Because Allah said in the Quran that those people who are patient, they will be given their rewards without any reckoning. And therefore, it's a and when a person is afflicted with a calamity, to be patient. And the opposite of being patient is at the sakhut. At the sakhut, who are the al qadar qadar. And the meaning of at the sakhut is to almost complain against the decree of Allah. So how does a person complain or become sad? The heart and the heart and the heart. In your heart, in a person's heart, and upon the tongue, and upon the limbs. يتسخط بقلبه. A person has this سخط in his heart. يعني في نفسه يقول هذا بينه وبين نفسه كما يقول هذا ابن القيم رحمه الله يقول ظلمني ربي. That person says in himself, he thinks to himself as ابن القيم رحمه الله mentioned, that person says, my lord has oppressed me. ومنعني ما استحق. And I'm not deserving of this. ولماذا فلان لم يحصل له شيء وحصل لي؟ And why is it that this person hasn't had this problem? Why have I had this problem? Why is this brother he become the Imam and I don't become the Imam? A person says, and why is it that this person he has money, he has wife, he has children, and I don't have any of this, even though I'm more deserving than him? So this is complaining and at the sakhut in one's heart. As for upon the tongue, off. A person says "uff," and "uff" is a phrase in Arabic which shows a person complaining. <laughs> Even in English, you have these type of phrases. But when you're happy, you say "uff" or like that. Oh, Or a person he starts complaining, saying, "Oh, this calamity has befallen me. Okay, oh, I've been afflicted by this. Lamenting, lamenting." Or, for example, a person says, "Oh, a person says, I've become tired. I've had enough." Or a person starts, you know, crying and complaining out loud and shouting. The sakhut bil jawari. And then as for at the sakhut, this type of complaining upon the limbs. ينتف الشعور ينتف A person starts pulling out his hairs أو يضرب الخدود أو starts beating his cheeks أو يشق الجوب أو starts tearing his clothes أو يضرب 
Or starts hitting at you. Or breaks things. Or breaks things. Or a person starts being reckless in terms of driving and doing things. Or a person takes you know, glass and he smashes it. All of this is tasakhut. And therefore a tasakhut, meaning complaining against the decree of Allah, is from the major sin from amongst the major sins. Rather, it can even reach to be a type of shirk asgar minus 